So, ich überwinde mich jetzt doch noch eine weitere Folge aufzunehmen von Rachel Foster. Was mir jetzt noch im Kopf durchging, ist ja, dass der Autoschlüssel plötzlich nicht mehr im Auto war. Vielleicht ist Rachel Forster wirklich noch hier. Stimmt, hier kamen wir ja nie rein. Gott, man sieht ja gar nichts. Lippenstift? Das ist ja ein bisschen merkwürdig, dass hier Lippenstift rumliegt. Ach, wir kommen gar nicht zurück rein. Das ist ja auch schön. Made in Germany! War dieses Geräusch normal? War das der Boiler? Was ist denn das? Achso, das von uns. Die Frage ist jetzt auch, ähm, was mache ich denn jetzt? Irgendwas stimmt im, im, ja das haben wir doch gar erledigt oder nicht? Was war das denn? Sicherung alle grün, obwohl die ja gar nicht anders. Hä? Was muss ich machen? Komischerweise ist rot auch gleichzeitig noch an. Elektroraum, ja, da sind wir doch. Warte, ich konnte doch Lippenstift. Ah, jetzt kann ich mir den ansehen. Uh, uh, what's up? Uh, hi, I want to ask you something. Okay, uh, go ahead. How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years uh, yeah from 89 I mean did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement don't know uh, probably pretty rushed why I found something another Polaroid a lipstick huh doesn't that seem weird it's a uh, lipstick you don't get it it looks really old I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. Weird. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been, I, I don't know, nine or ten years. Strange someone should wait ten years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? Are you crazy? Nicole, it's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... Well... Yeah. You're probably right. Hm, wahrscheinlich nicht. Die geht einfach so automatisch jetzt auf.
wie lange geht das eigentlich? Ich meine, vier Tage sind wir dann schon alleine hier oben. Ist sie wirklich tot? <lacht> Reporting is ordered, Sir. You awake? Sorta. You forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Um, okay. Hey. Ach, Hinweise. Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? Uh, what are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Rachel is dead. That's what everyone says. But maybe the story deserves a second pass. There are too many gray areas. Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing, like you did ten years ago. <laughs> What do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. I'm not busy at the moment. I want to follow my instinct. I haven't done it in so long and it feels like things don't add up here. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <laughs> All right, let's go hunt some bees then. Geschichte einer Freundin, wo ist das denn? So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay, well, I'll hear you out. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? Uh, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was MT Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. Uh, I know, it's not a very reliable source. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. I thought I was the skeptical one here. Und die Leiche hat man nie gefunden, oder was? Aber da steht ja Rachels Body. Ihr Rute? I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Huh. Yeah, that was the official version. Bus, warum denkt sie, schreibt sie, ist sie wirklich tot, wenn ihre Leiche gefunden wurde? Wurde ihre Leiche dann gar nicht gefunden? Hat die, hat die niemand gesehen? Timberline. Ich weiß bloß nicht. Ist das das Hotel hier, ne? Unser Hotel. Kann das sein? Warte mal. Steht das hier? First... Ja. Die wurde hier in der Klasse. Ach so, das Buch. 
lag ja schon die ganze Zeit da. You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. He was a very strict man. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. Priests always made me nervous. Them and their invisible boss. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? Hey, no, no. But even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just saying. Uh, right. Vielleicht was ist das der äh, mysteriöse Anrufer? Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. It doesn't smell. Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Maybe there's been other women. I mean... From what I gather, Leonard was a sort of recluse. And don't forget, the lipstick is really old. Um, could the cold have preserved it? Possibly. Anything else? Interessant, wusste ich auch nicht. Hey, I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel, or Rachel is sad, or Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? As if he saw her. Well, I mean, there must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. Okay, I'd say that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. Any objections? You don't need my approval. Good job. You're getting the hang of it. But, sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. Once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard-headed like your father. <laughs> Trust me, at least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. I'll follow it to the T. Okay. Ist sie wirklich tot? Tja, das frage ich mich tatsächlich auch gerade. Ähm. What? Hey, Cutie Pie. How are you? Daddy? Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Is it you? For real? Are you real? Their light is alive. And it reaches us. 
and those stars are alive and dead at the same time. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand. I, I can't see you, Daddy. Listen, sweet pea. My sweetheart, listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you, too. Say it again, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. 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 Morning. Am I interrupting? I was eating. Steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Sharp as attack, as always, Agent. Uh, I did find something. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Oh, so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. It's, um, it, it's VHS of the behind the scenes of a TV broadcast, but it's, it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. They're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like. Uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? Did they hear about the old farting ghost? I'm not sure, but uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever. Let me hear it. Okay. Uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of... Well, listen for yourself. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones were better. <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. Nah, I didn't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay? Kitchen? No. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one open. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's it's giving off a glare and burns out the frame. I told you no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. <gasps> Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap, you freaking me. Holy shit, there it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear, Dad, I... Dad, stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? That's it? Yep, the tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. It's, uh, 117, I think. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. 
Aber uns fehlt doch der Generalschlüssel. Oh Gott, also gibt es hier wirklich einen Geist. Ich bin mal gespannt, sind die ganzen Sachen eigentlich jetzt noch hier? Ja. Ein sehr hübsches Mädchen. Und es schneit immer noch. Gut, dann geht's hier in den nächsten Sessionen wieder weiter. Spitze bedanke mich. Bis dann.